for example, if I if I am to show you know just like this, just for fun. Uh, for example, you see we move the hips all the time. You know? So I go down by moving the hips down. You know, so yes, it, yes. rotating the hips indiv individually, like I imagine there's two cylinders they rotate. Mm -hmm. So I do not really. Karate Tube Germany friends, recently I met a Tai Chi master, a dedicated martial artist and fellow YouTuber. His name is Sebastian Konstantin. He is born in Romania and lives now in Montreal, Canada. He started with different martial arts already in 1987. He is a certified Qigong and Tai Chi instructor, a yoga practitioner too, and a personal trainer teaching in the Montreal area. For 13 years, he was an active marathon runner. He's a real master and most of all, a beautiful, relaxed and very personable human being. You will see the first part of our conversation. Tai Chi master meets Karate master. Enjoy. Uh, what is your Tai Chi style and how it separates from other schools? Yes. Actually, I practice Chen style and Yang style. <laughs> Chen style, it's uh, my favorite because it's the original style. It shows the roots of Tai Chi into military training and into Wushu. <laughs> and it's somehow it's a base of Kung Fu. And I also train Yang style because Yang style, it's uh, the most popular. And whenever I teach, I teach Yang style predominantly because uh, since it's the most pop popular and not also it's the most popular, the, but the most accessible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah. Are you training with uh, Chinese weapons or modern weapons? No, I do not train with any weapons. Uh, because Tai Chi, uh, yes. you see the sword, no? This. Yes, the long sword, the Tai Chi knife, which is the broad sword, mm -hmm. the span. The, I didn't. I didn't went through weapon training, and I prefer to train bare hands, <laughs> personally. <laughs> bare hands means karate. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. What is the? <laughs> this is a nice one. What is the best in your life as a professional Tai Chi master? What is the best thing about it? The best thing about Tai Chi? You can video chat with a karate master in Germany in the morning. <laughs> yes, yes. And actually, uh, when I saw you and I, we start chatting, uh, I, I, it felt like uh, like a summit, like the wonderful thing that uh, I can say that I can say that. Thank you, thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Uh, very um, nice to meet you. Very kind. Uh, normally, if we don't have COVID, I would say prepare a room for me. In two weeks, I come over. <laughs> <laughs> that will be wonderful. Uh, I will do my best. I will do my best. Uh, you know, uh, living in Montreal area. Uh, in, in Montreal, we are in Montreal. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. interesting. Canada huh? East, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, Montreal, uh, it's a big city. Mm -hmm. uh, which city are you from, Germany? Uh, near Nuremberg. Near it's Nuremberg. In North Bavaria. I was born and raised here on a, in a little town, uh, 25,000 people only. It was uh, actually literally the neighborhood where you don't have to lock the doors in the old times. I still live in, live in this area. It's called Middle Franconia. It's, it's a region. Mm -hmm. And now, in this COVID times, every day I'm in the woods, I climb mountains, and do my kata, my 
push-ups, my uh, squats, my I saw your leg exercise uh, video. You remember? Well, uh, I made many. Uh, okay, yes. Kicking, uh, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is typical uh, karate, no? this uh, typical karate exercise. To... I also have some questions prepared. Look. Oh, ha, ha. nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, I did interviews also uh, with you know, 10 times, I think, with some masters and students. Uh, different martial arts. Uh, I also have funny thing, fast questions, mm. quick answers. Mm -hmm. Yes, family life, kids fighting. Family. Because, so I would I would ask you loyalty, loyalty, <laughs> loyalty, good, <laughs> good religion. <laughs> Sorry, religion, religion. Religion, religion, cross. Cross. Nature. Nature. Wild nature. We are every day outside in the nature now with COVID-19. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Do you have uh, family, kids? Yes, I have one son, mm -hmm. 14 years old. He appears in my last video when we went up the mountain uh, and uh, yes. And you have a very cute dog. <laughs> yes, that's my second son. That's my dog son. Good. So now I would like to come back to what you said with the energy. Okay. You know, maybe you had a, a taste of the chi energy. <laughs> yes, maybe. Chi energy, it's uh, even the great, great masters. It, it manifests into strange sensations. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, my sensation most of the time it's uh, timeless. Uh -huh. I train maybe one hour and then I thought that was 15 minutes or uh -huh, uh -huh. this is the sensation. Yes, it's very interesting. It's very interesting because uh, uh, well, of course, any any effort we do, we feel that it was a, an effort, but it's we put a lot of work with a very with kind of little effort in uh, in tai chi yes it's um, because it's all it challenges internal the body and then the movements are it, it's kind of like a science uh, for example if i if i'm to show you know just like this just for fun uh, for example you see we move the hips all the yes. time you know yes. so I go down by moving the hips down, you know, so yes, it, yes. rotating the hips indiv individually. Like I imagine there's two cylinders, they rotate. Mm -hmm. So I do not really force on separating the legs, but just rotating it. And all the time it's the same thing. Like in, in I practice more chin style. Chin style, the arms is either like this mm -hmm. or like this, something like that. So mm -hmm. this is a block. Mm -hmm. So blocking like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the time. It's uh, so I keep the arms in a certain position all the time, and this is ensure a block. But otherwise, the the muscle they should be very relaxed, mm -hmm. because I can move. <laughs> it's uh, it's very pleasant. It's very pleasant, and uh, I think I chose Tai Chi for the artistic side. Uh, you look very smooth when you do it. And I think it's a sign for high quality. Uh, even when my karate students master the fast, hard karate movements, they are doing really hard, even the woman, with the slow movements. They, they have really problems with the, to, to move slow, no? <laughs> to, to, uh, to coordinate all things slow. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the same idea. Look, uh, to these questions I wrote maybe five years ago. Um, I asked so many people these questions. Look, traveling, yeah. nothing with traveling. No? Uh, I used to travel every year, I think two times, visited uh, other countries, doshos, teaching, 
talking, training. Everything is gone. I think uh, traveling will be not possible until autumn next year. Yes. Do you visit your uh, relatives in Romania every year? Oh, no, not every year. It's been a long time since I went to Romania. Lately, I went to Asia to visit. Uh, I mean, I went to China and to Thailand. I also do Thai massage. Yes, I saw it in your in your <laughs> in the resume. Um, what else? Uh, in karate, there are uh, some uh, rules for uh, etiquette, uh, doshukun, we call it. Uh, are there some advices how you interact with students, masters, loyalty, uh, integrity? Are there some written rules? In Tai Chi? Yes. Oh. You know, uh, um, Tai Chi is based on the Chinese uh, way of living. So that's always the teacher is Lao Shi. That's always respected, very much respected. And then that's uh, seniority. Uh, in Chinese uh, way, uh, all they train together, they are called brothers. And the seniors, they are called bigger brothers, bigger sisters. Very nice. But it's all based on respect. Um, certain things, you know, it's it's understood that certain things we, we do not just do. And uh, always we address politely. As you said, that you saw that most of the time I call you even master or sensei, Jurgen, or because that's in in Chinese it's always uh, they will say Lao Shi or or madam or yeah. you know they will not say just the name. I have my own experience uh, with people who call me sensei or Shihan even. Um, for Westerners, it's difficult to understand what the real meaning is. So, um, the people who are most shouting sensei, sensei, are the people uh, 10 years later who don't talk to you anymore. So, uh, I think between Westerners, it's not necessary. It, we have a normal way of respect, of getting along with each, with each other. Uh, this should be enough. But let me do a funny question. What was your funniest martial arts moment? Your funniest martial arts moment? Well, uh, I don't know if this is very funny, but um, I think, uh, yes, I can say one thing. It's uh, when I just started to train Tai Chi in the park, um people they were laughing <laughs> sure. and i never stopped i never stopped <coughs> After one year or so people they were just stopping and looking at me curiously but not laughing anymore and then after another year or two some people they stopped and filming me so that was you know in a way it, it was it showed that i was improving <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really strange uh, uh, after that such many decades uh, also here in the western countries the people don't know what we are doing uh, right before the interview I was uh, going for a little stroll outside and um, uh, a neighbor woman uh, talked to me and said are you going again up the hill and punch somebody <laughs> I said no I only take a short walk, uh, fresh air. <laughs> so there is a, a still a misunderstanding what we are doing in the martial arts. There is, and I think uh, 
they are Jurgen, it's related to the fact that uh, that's not only, not only in the martial arts. In my, uh, I started something about wellness, and I, I like to say most of the people, they live um, on the edge or on the platform of surviving. Yes. So yes. for them, a martial I... art is punching something, obtaining something by force. It's a war kind of thing, or it's a fighting kind of thing. They do not see the spirituality in this. Yes. I mean, if I really want to punch someone and to grab his bag, I don't have to practice katas. I just go to the punching bag and punch until I'm ready to punch yes. someone, knock, knock out, and, and then uh, that will be... So uh, that's what I say. Say hello. <laughs> oh, very nice. The, the doggy, I, yeah. I totally agree. Uh, uh, I have the same speech over and over. I don't need to train. Now I train 42 years in a row without a break uh, for self-defense. Uh, there must be a deeper value. of SSD and my repairman charges $60 Canadian, which is... <laughs> Sebastian, was so nice to meet you. Uh, Pleasure. It's I awesome. think we should quit now and uh, yes. what files we have. Sebastian, bye-bye to Canada. Have a Thank nice you Saturday. You from Germany and uh, I wish you a nice evening. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Hola. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video on social media like Facebook.